Hello, Richard the Dick Coughlin, zero, zero, zero. Yes, it's me, I'm here. Yo, no, calm down. Number one, I am feeling much, much better. Overcome a lot. I'm not 100%, um, let's be fair, I was barely at 50 when I fucking left. Um, I'm running on fucking spares as it is. But at the end of the day, I now feel capable of coming back to the nice, relaxing world of completely insane twats on the internet, shouting at each other and telling them they're wrong. Um, first of all, I'd like to say to all the people who have been posting comments on all the um, sort of uh, all the videos are, are on my channel by other users, just basically saying, "Oh, come back, Coughlin! I subscribe to your channel to watch your videos." I don't give a flying hot donkey dick what you fucking sub to my channel for. Some guy actually posted a comment saying, Coughlin, I can't stand seeing what your channel has become. What? A platform for the, you know, the smaller guy to get his chance in? A place where videos are uploaded of certain content not traditional to that particular web page? If you can't handle this in your life, I can't help you. Because I've got real problems I've had to deal with. First thing I want to do is link you to a video down there. It is on... The, uh, the Rob Child channel. Yes, many of you probably forgotten. Some of you haven't even heard. It's a collaborative channel I have with the user Ominous Voice. Uh, he, in the uh, couple of days ago, he and his uh, girl, his lovely, lovely girlfriend Danny. He and his lovely girlfriend uh, Danielle uh, paid me a visit in order to cheer me up. Um, you know, it was a, uh, and they tried. Um, no, no, they didn't. They uh, paid me for it, and it was very lovely of them. It was nice to see them. And there's a video down there of me and Rob sat in a garden. It's about minus 20, and we are basically just being uh, obnoxious cunts, really. So it's basically like your regular Rob Char video, only outdoors. Wow. So yes, I will be returning to the 616 channel eventually. Um, but today, I, but in this video, I had to post this today. And the reason I had to post it today is because earlier on, I was sent a personal message, a PM. Is it personal or private? No one knows. Um, pointless is probably what it means. But it, this one certainly wasn't. It was a personal message on YouTube. And I don't need to tell you, I am an arrogant, egotistical little twat who genuinely believes he is the hairy, swinging dangle bag in between the celestial dog's knackers. I read this PM from... A guy who I know from uh, YouTube I actually welled up, started crying. It's because I caught my knob in my zip, but you know, it was, it was well timed. No, I actually felt something. Because what I'm about to read to you is, it's something that you don't hear that often. But it's these messages, it's when you are, it's when you find stuff like this out and you learn and, 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 be, and uh, are told uh, stuff like this as a YouTube video maker, that every single thing is worth it. You know, even if it's, even if this is the only time anything ever came from a YouTube video, because there's this popular myth that people tout around going, oh, it's only YouTube, nothing we do here really matters, nobody really cares. As you may know, uh, last week, last few weeks have been a tad emotionally traumatic, you know, because I'm an emo, emo whore. I've got histrionic personality disorder. Remember that scene in Anchorman where Ron Burgundy's on the phone after Baxter's kicked off the bridge, right? I was a little bit more upset than that. You know, the first thing I had to realise is, you know, you feel, you, 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 you self-pity a lot. You know, it's just natural. You go, oh, I'm so alone. And I'm not alone. I've learnt that. I've got fucking, you know, tens of dozens of fucking people you know, some of whom actually had talked to me not to get a shout out. You know, who were there to just let me get off my chest. There were people who are, there's a couple of dozen people who have sat there and just listened to me wail and cry down the phone at them. And there are people who have, you know, made a little bit extra effort to make sure I'm okay. But today I realised that it doesn't matter what happens to me and it doesn't matter how bad things uh, get on here and it doesn't matter how much grief and strife and pain and misery and unnecessary fucking torment I have to 
uh, endure, most of which is my fault, I'll grant it. I can sit here knowing that this is something. This is from a user called Nathan Forrest. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. And I'm just going to read it as it is. Greetings. I've been away on my honeymoon with my lovely wife, uh, also known as Seek the Visceral. I'll leave a link to her channel down there. Here on Who I met here on YouTube. Um, however, today I was told by Goth That Funk, cheers Paul, right said free, who told me about the horrible news regarding you and Peach. I was very saddened to hear about this news. However, this is not an email offering condolences, but I just thought I should tell you that I would never have had the courage of st or strength to fly down and meet my wife if it wasn't for you. Back when I first met Seek the Visceral, you had also started to uh, uh, get involved with Peach. I saw your video announcing that you were going to fly to the States to meet her. You eventually made the leap across the pond and I watched as you and her began a relationship. How much did you see? You taking that chance, making that leap and allowing yourself to take that risk was what helped me do the exact same thing. When I was planning my own trip, Gotham, I kept thinking about how you did this too. It made it easier and gave me some much needed support and encouragement. I am now married to Seek the Visceral, just come back off this honeymoon, and we are madly in love. If it wasn't for you trying to find your own love, I wouldn't have had the courage to pursue my own heart, and I owe you that. I hope that this lifts your spirits at least a little bit. You know, we come on here and we make our videos and we say and do things and we, more often than not, just do them. Um, we do them with good intentions and what we do is not done with the expressed intention of influencing or putting ideas in people's heads. And people always dismiss everything that goes on on here as, oh, nothing, nobody ever changed any mind, no one's going to fuck it. What's the point in this? It's only YouTube. It's not, it's not real life. The people who... I was most frustrated with uh, last week were the people who reacted to me uh, to my um, sort of bad news uh, with this kind of well of course it of course it ended it was long distance relationship met on the internet <laughs> what would you expect <laughs> most of these people haven't said a fucking thing for the 20 months that was before that now they sit there these people their contribution to the world is to sit there and wait for people to fuck up and make mistakes and fail at doing when they try and do something that's risky. I knew it wasn't a fucking good chance of working out good when I took a chance and it didn't work out. But don't think just because you can sit there and laugh at me that that, may, that means anything. Because the fact is, whilst it didn't work out for me, I inadvertently, simply by making a YouTube video, without any fucking idea up until today, was responsible for two other people in the same situation getting exactly what I was trying to get and finding that happiness and taking that chance and it worked for them. They did something special. They did something different. They did something a lot of people would be too scared to do. And the fact that it was my risk that inspired that risk is worth all of the fucking misery and pain and sadness and stress and aggravation that anyone can throw at me. Because I, I know, you know, because I can I can look myself in the eye, I can look in the mirror, I can walk around with my head held high knowing that I do something important, whether I fucking mean it to or not. And everything we do, and if some fucking scruffy fucking useless bum like me can can make a video start sets off a reaction and is responsible for something wonderful something beautiful in the world happening then that then it means that I have a purpose here it means that I you know happiness and finding your ha finding that perfect ending that nice little movie you know Hollywood See, it's not going to happen, really. But you can still try. You know? It, nothing's ever going to work out with a happy ending and live happily ever after. But God damn it, can't we give it a go?
you know, next time they see someone going on about how what we do on here is not a big deal, it's just YouTube. I want you to remember this, that everything we do, whether we know it or not, whether we mean it or not, you know, it's changing people's lives. And if we can either create better lives for people, or we can destroy lives for people. We have that power. And I think it's something no one should take for granted. Nobody. Because if I can do it with 15,000 subs, think about the people who do 200,000, 500,000. This is not just YouTube. This is real life. And this is real people trying to find something very real. And uh, I'm proud to be a part of that. And Nathan and uh, Seek the Visceral, thank you very much. You, you've made my year, my, my decade with that news. Um, I do think it's only fair though, Nathan, that you know, as it was kind of me, you know, I should be allowed to have a go if the missus is up for it. You know, nothing extreme. It won't last long. I'm not very good. You know, you can you can think about it. You know, put, put think about it. Nice. Like, this is Richard Dick Coughlin. Zero zero zero. Saying good night. May God be less. And keep the faith.